What's up guys, Ruxin34 back, and today we have another collection purchase, but first we're going to open up a few Battles of Legend Armageddon packs, and hopefully we'll pull another 10,000 Dragon, because yes, I sold mine, I did sell it, but I want another one, so here we go. Before we get started the giveaway, I'll be giving away these three cards, all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know in the comments what card you liked most from the collection that we'll be opening, well, opening, yeah, showing, whatever. After we open these packs, we're gonna open these packs. We're gonna go into the collection. That's some pretty cool stuff. I also just, I just arranged to buy one of the most epic collections I have ever, I will have ever seen. It's pretty awesome, and I think you guys are gonna love it. Whenever it comes in, I'm gonna make a video. It's gonna be crazy. Some of the cards we're maybe gonna grade. It's gonna be cool. Let's just go through these and see if we can pull something cool. Invocation. There we go. I haven't pulled that card in a while. So that's a nice $20, $25 card. This is a good start to our video. Let's put that back there. All right. So, Invocation. Can we pull a Starlight? Can we do it? Miracle Rupture. That's another good one. Two to three bucks, but the prices keep changing so much on this set that I can't really keep track. But it was two to three bucks, so we'll see if that's still true. All right. Here we go. Fire Flint Lady. Nice. Fossil Dragon Skullgar. I feel like I pull that guy constantly. Yeah, I had an open box from where I opened some packs from my case. And I was like, well, let's just open some Battles of Legend. And let's try and pull something else. We pulled the 10K. Even though I sold my 10K, I still want another one. I also would still love to pull Utopia. Book of Moon. Numeron Network. This is a good... uh. A good opening so far. Numeron Network. There we go. All right. Next pack. So far, we've pulled some absolute fire. Okay, Cross Sheep and Mega Fleet. That is not a bad pack right there. Really pretty good pack. This is a. This is only twelve packs overall, and we're pulling some of the best cards. Glacial Beast Polar Penguin. Four packs until we get into the collection. The collection, by the way. I'm, I already opened it. I didn't look at what was in there, but there were so his address was on there so many times I, I couldn't cover it up easily. So I just decided I would uh, I would just take it out off camera because because I don't want to share his address by accident. So um, oh lion, oh my goodness, we're pulling everything. All we need now is um, we need a chaos ember dragon and an artifact sanctum. We pretty much have everything. All the really good cards. Numeron wall, it's pretty good as an ultra. Secret rare. And one more pack from the 12 packs of Battles of Legend. Really good pulls. That's pretty awesome. Steam, Synchron, and High Rate Draw. Okay. So we did pretty good out of those packs. We got some really good stuff. Now let's go and see what I bought out of this collection sent by one of you guys. Let's open it up. We got packing stuff in here. All right, there we go. We got a deck box. I guess they're all in this deck box. All right, here we go. Let's open this thing up. Hopefully, there is, I don't even remember what's in here. So I guess something epic. I know I know a couple of things, but I can't remember most of it. I, I can't even remember, guys. I get mess so many collection messages a day now. It's, or a week, I should say. Not so many a day. I do get, I do get usually multiple a day, but. Okay, there we go. It's like, I would love to buy all of them, but I really just can't. I just try to buy some of the ones I would like. Where's my knife? Okay. Yeah, but I did buy an absolutely insane... Well, I'm buying it. I haven't bought it yet. But one of you guys messaged me about an epic collection. And we agreed. I agreed to buy it. So it's really expensive. The most expensive thing I've... Like, most expensive single purchase I've ever made. Even though it's more than one single thing, obviously. But... Okay, here we go. This is a small collection, but it's uh, pretty quality. There's some quality stuff in here. So let's move this over. Is there a note? Oh, did I just throw it away? Crap. <laughs> or was that just packing? No, just packing. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I was like, did I throw that away? All right, let's go through what we got, guys. This is a pretty short, uh, short collection. I forgot how small it was. So this might be a short video. But yeah, we have Lost Art, Foolish Burial. That's cool. Then we have some uh, Eternity Code Ultras. There's some Supers. 
more as bad as a legend and Trinity. And we got the sleeved cards. So we have a blue eyes wide dragon ultimate rare. We might go a little bit more into condition in this video because this video is going to be really short if we don't. <laughs> don't. Blue eyes wide dragon ultimate rare. Gaia the Earth Giant. Gaia Plate the Earth Giant. Ultimate rare from Ancient Prophecy. First dead. So that's pretty cool because you can only get those packs in the first dead Ancient Prophecy, which are not in a booster box unless there's like, I think there's like some random Euro boxes that are first dead. Not very many of them, but there are. Lila, let's check out the condition on this one. Oh, there's actually two of these. Wow, two Lila first editions. These are from um, Light of Destruction, which is an extremely expensive first edition booster box. This one's in pretty nice condition. Lila the Light Sworn Sorceress. That is pretty sweet. Ultimate rare. So that one's in pretty good condition. We've got another one. This one looks to be in a little bit worse, maybe. Well, the edge wear at the top is what made me say that, but actually it's maybe a little better on the surface, so that's pretty good. That one might actually be in better condition. We also have Dandelion. This one's from Astral Pack 4. If you guys have seen my every pack opening, I talked about how annoying Astral Pack 4 was to find. It was an absolute pain. So this guy might be worth something just because that pack is impossible to find. Not sure. We got Ghost Mourners and Moonlit Chill. Three secret rare Ghost Mourners. I think they were around 30 bucks last time I saw, but that was really like when it first came out, so that could have changed. Ally of Justice Catastrophe. We pulled a couple of these on videos. Viewer Battles. So I actually didn't own one myself. Oh, there's a Ghost Rare in here. I forgot. Odin, Father of the Aesir, Ghost Rare. That's epic. Check this out. Oh, this and the foil's not too bad. I mean, there's some scratches right there. But uh, for a ghost rare, it's not bad because ghost rares are usually really easily scratched. So let's go ahead and put this in a penny sleeve, which, by the way, guys, another reason I like penny, se penny sleeves, don't scratch the surface because they're so soft. This, this is definitely a near mint ghost rare, which is really nice. So let me just check that out. Ghost rares are awesome. By the way, that huge collection I bought, you're going to see a few ghost rares, and it's going to be amazing. So I can't wait to get that. So check that out. Let's set that in a nice spot. We've got a Dingirsu, the Orcus of Evening Star. I don't have this one from OTS 11. Oh, this one's from OTS 4, Utopia Lightning. I was wondering which one, which uh, OTS this was from. OTS 4 was an absolute pain to get as well. So that is pretty cool. That's probably hard to get. Digusto Emerald from Hidden Arsenal 7. That is, I think it's pretty good value, actually. Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. I know this is like a $30 card. Pot of Desires. Oh, wow. Three Pot of Desires. I already had two that I pulled. So there's three more of those. I'm probably going to I'm probably gonna sell those because I don't really... I don't need any more. I already have two, and it's a playable card. So I'm probably going to sell. Terraforming. That's a cool one. I don't have that one, I don't think. Maybe I have one. I might have one copy of Terraforming. Ulti. Um, we got a Toon Bookmark. That is an Ultra Rare. It's pretty cool. Dark Ruler No More. That's pretty nice. Secret Rare. From, oh, that's the first edition of Legendary Collection GX. Those are actually good value. This one's from Raw Yellow. Mega Pack first editions, called by the and called by the grave the playset. So that's the whole collection, guys. I mean, it's pretty small, but I mean, definitely quantity over quality. You guys see all this great stuff. There's ultimate rares, you know, older ultimate rares. There's newer ultimate rares from OTS. Secret rares from Eternity Code, so pretty new set. You know, we got secret rare from Hidden Arsenal. Secret rare from what is this from? Dane? Is that? Um, oh, I know that one. What is it? Dark Neo Storm? Is that it? Did I nail it? Did I nail it? Yeah, let me know in the comments. Okay. Then we got a play set of Pot Desires. That's pretty cool. Terraforming is pretty sweet. I think there was actually... Let me check this out. It had a tiny little, like, edge wear on it. Maybe it wasn't tiny. I don't remember. Oh, it's got a ding on the corner. That's what it was. So, it's actually... You know, I mean, it looks pretty good, but... The corner right there, you can tell, is bent. So, that's a little unfortunate, but... Still pretty good, like, light play, I'd say. A little bit bent on that corner. But still pretty cool overall. So yeah, this is this is basically it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We did a little opening. We did a little bit of collection showing. I mean, honestly, a pretty sweet collection. I love to get these high rarity cards. Those are that's the stuff that I love the most. And look forward to this huge collection I bought. It will probably be a while because it is an international purchase. So you guys probably won't see it for maybe a month. Hopefully earlier because that would be great. 
and it's one of the coolest things you guys will see on my channel in terms of just collection and like just raw cards, raw Yu-Gi-Oh cards, not an opening. So I'm pretty excited for that to come in. Don't forget to subscribe for the 18,000 subscriber special of Tournament Pack 2. Yes, I announced it on my YouTube story, so make sure you guys check out my YouTube story. Also, the 19K special will be opening up that Lord of D 2002 Sealed 10 with two LB, two MRD, and an MRL pack. That's pretty cool. And if you want to support the channel, use the TCG Player and eBay affiliate links below. You can support me on Patreon if you want. We don't really do much on Patreon besides chat in the Discord, which is pretty fun. There's a few of you guys in there, and we chat probably every day, every other day. It's pretty fun. So, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh, yes. oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>